All right, so I did a harvest of my hungry bin. <clears throat> it's only been two weeks after I did the last harvest, and I knew it wasn't going to be ready, but I wanted to set up a precedent for myself um, of doing a harvest around the first of every month. And last month I didn't do it that well. But anyway, um, so there's a lot of unprocessed stuff in here. It's very wet, uh, but there's very few worms in here. I found maybe two or three worms, and they were juveniles. They weren't um, adults. They weren't babies. So, you know, but like I said, there's a lot of unprocessed stuff in here. And, and rather than fiddle with this or put it back in my bin, because there are some, here's a worm right here. Um, there are some things in here that I don't want that I've, I've finally decided, you know, I don't want to put in any more uh, pistachio shells. They take forever to break down. I do want to be able to have some compost that's pretty much ready to go. Um, in my early days of, of using the hungry bin and waiting for things to process, I put things in like chicken bones, just to see what would happen. And of course, they, you know, they're still here. And I don't want that, I don't want to put that back in my hungry bin. Or have to um, sort them out, uh, sift them out later. Here's another bone. Um, so I am just going to put this whole thing into my garden, my garden area. Here's some more unprocessed stuff that looks like a... Uh, pineapple but anyway and it is quite wet which I don't put any extra uh, water in my bin I mainly put um, s a s small layer of, here's another one uh, of um, moist bedding it's not wet bedding but I don't add any kind of water I think perhaps maybe I don't have enough worms uh, for the amount of stuff, scraps, food scraps that I was feeding before. I, now, you know, I only started with 250, 350 worms. So, you know, that's really super minor. So I think I got too excited and put too much food in at the beginning and just tried everything under the sun to put in my bin. So now I'm going to be a little bit more discerning. Um... I have learned not to add water before I was adding water. Maybe that's what this is from as well. Um, thinking, oh, it looks dry on top. Well, down below it's not dry. <clears throat> it's really wet. It's sopping wet. So that's what this is from. Anyway, like I mentioned, I'm just going to put everything from this bin into my garden area right there. And go from there. Um, and then do a harvest once a month. Well, next, that's my plan right now. If I harvest again next month and see that it's still in process, that means I need to still maybe wait longer before um, harvesting again. Um, hopefully it won't be as wet. Um, hopefully as I'm learning how to use the hungry bin better and learning, um, you know, process is better that I will improve as far as using the um, hungry bin. So anyway, here is the amount of harvest gathered for the, well, since two weeks ago. And this has just been um, a bus bin, a little tote. Um, I don't think I have the measurements here, but anyway, there it is. And thank you for coming on this journey with me.